All right, so today we're continuing to work with the coordinate plane. Specifically, we are going to be working with reflections. Whenever you have a reflection, a reflection is something that is flipped. If you stand in front of the mirror and you raise your right hand, your reflection is going to be raising its left hand, looking back at you. So the same idea is going to work for our reflections. For sixth grade, we're going to have a point, and it's going to be reflected over the X or Y axis. Really all it's going to do is flip it from one quadrant to another quadrant by going or kind of jumping over that axis. If we reflect over the Y axis, X changes signs and the Y value stays the same. So for instance, if we have the point 1, 1, when we reflect over the Y axis, our Y value is going to stay the same. It'll stay 1. The X value will change signs. Similar idea with the X axis. X will stay the same and Y will change signs. So again, the point 1, 1. This time the X stays the same and the Y changes signs. So really the way it works is whichever axis you reflect over, that letter stays the same, the other letter changes signs. So when we see it with an image, the way the image works, when it reflects over the y-axis, it's going to flip across the y-axis. It's going to be the same distance, just on the opposite side. So if I take that point there, it reflects to right there. The ordered pair to start with would have been 1, 4. After the reflection, the ordered pair would be negative 1, positive 4. So like we just said, we reflected over the y-axis, the y-value stayed the same, x-value changed signs. A reflection over the x-axis works in a similar manner. If we use, let's say, this point right here, it reflects to right there. The coordinates to start with are 3, 1. After the reflection, we have 3, negative 1. So x stayed the same, y changed signs. So with our word problems, same idea. You have a reflection over one axis. This one's the x-axis. So what that means is the X value stays the same, Y value changes signs. That's all there is to it. Any questions on that? Go ahead and try that one. Uh, who's got an answer? Negative 3, 4 is correct. A reflection over the y-axis, the y-value stays the same, x-value changes signs. So that's one type of problem that we have with reflections. All it is is taking a point, changing the signs on one of the numbers. The other type of problem combines that with the problems we did yesterday. It's asking for the quadrant. So we still have a reflection over the y-axis, so that means y stays the same, x changes signs. So now we just do like we did yesterday when we figured out the quadrant. If I have my four quadrants, a negative x value is to the left, negative y value is down. So for my quadrants, we got one, two, three, four. 
So that puts my reflection into the third quadrant. Any questions on that? Go ahead, try that one. Uh, who's got it? We got to pay attention to what the question's asking for. It's not asking for coordinates on this one. Quadrant two is correct. After the reflection, X stays the same, Y changes signs. So we do get negative one, positive three. Negative x value is to the left, positive y up. So that puts us up there. That is quadrant 2. Okay, so again, it's taking the same types of problems we did yesterday with the quadrants and just making us do that extra step of reflecting it at the beginning. Any questions?